Hey everyone, so usually people, you know, I've seen some accounts, some um, YouTube channels, you know, like kind of go over their thoughts and feelings about the new, like, you know, new sets that have come out for themes. And, well, I'm going to do um, a more of a video on some of the minifigures that are actually coming for, um, you know, the new sets and the new wave of Ninjago um, next year. Because, you know, the sets, you know, they're very, very cool. But, you know, if you think about it, they all have the same similar theme, you know, like flying vehicles, you know, lots of flying um, sky pirate vehicles, you know, in the air, you know, little planes or um, flying ships or something like that, you know. You know, there's obviously tons of weird different stuff. But, you know, I'm just, I find the characters and the figures to be very, very interesting in this wave. Um, so again, we did have the, uh, recent set images released, um, here they are again, um, again, um, we do, I uh, do have a video about, um, all of those, um, but the, the Lego Ninjago, um, 2016 minifigures, um, I find them that I find just the very different types of figures, of course, each year we get these very crazy different figures but I mean this year this coming year it again looks all weird and different because you know we get we get a variety of characters like not a con the he's a genie from a bottle I mean from a lamp you know he's a um a gin so and as you can see there he's using the ghost tail so this time I don't know if the ghost tail is actually going to be like a clear um, like a clear red, maybe the or other uh, orange on there. I think it might be like a clear, um, a little more, tr little transparent, like the ghosts ones, or if it'll be more like a solid color. Um, I don't know, but I find it a very, very cool looking colors. Um, for Nauticon, very odd, very mixed colors. You know, you got the green there. You, um, he's got all. He's got like an orange body. Um, he's got his um pirate hook there. Um, as a hand there on one of his four hands. Um, and then he's got like the reddish, orangish, um, ghost looking tail. So, you know, that's going to be a very, very cool figure to get. And, um, some of the, um, some of the, um, pirate figures there also look very interesting, you know. They kind of got that same color variety there of orangish, brownish, sort of there around with green. It's like green, orange, and brown. Those are like the three... Um, similar colors throughout these pirates um, But yeah, you do see that with those ones and then not a con as well You do see some of those um, and here we have some of the other ninja um, Minifigures are coming and here is Lloyd and Lloyd It looks like he'll be you know that armor that he's wearing It looks like it'll just be armor so that he wears when he's flying that thing or when he's using that thing um, because on the box it just had, um, you know, his normal self without his hood. So I don't know if, I don't think they're actually going to have their hoods in this set. Um, you know, I kind of wish they would have, but, um, we do get Kai in this. So if you want to get a version, if you want to get Kai, this new version, you can get him in this. And if you want to get the very, very probably, um, a very, very anticipated figure for next year, um, Jay with his eye patch. So Jay is going to get his eye patch in this set. So and that obviously means it's going to happen this year that somehow Jay's going to get injured and he's going to start wearing an eye patch. So very cool version of Jay. I'll, I'm just curious now um, if they'll start like putting that as Jay's um, original figure version um, face or if they'll do like a double sided printing, you know, thing where they put the normal one on the side. Who knows what they'll do, but, you know, right now we do have this version of Jay's face as well as the normal one in um, the Elemental Dragon set. Um, here we have um, the big fig, the big character figure here. Um, it's not really a mini figure, but, you know, it's like a, you know, like the Hulk figure for the superheroes. Well, it's kind of like that, you know, they got those pieces again. Um, they, again, again, some of the molds and stuff there are different, you know for this, I think it's like Dog Shank or something like that. I remember the name. Very odd name. But, you know, it looks very, very cool. You got the green, the brown, and the orange again. You know, one of the, like the Sky Pirates all have. Um, you can see he's got some of the things on the back, like um, those little things on the back that allow you to clip things on. Um, but, yeah, you know, you can put the flags on on his back there. 
um, symbolizing he's with the Sky Pirates. Um, you know, obviously he's not a human, um, so I just wonder what he is. You know, he's just a big, look. he looks like a big creature, you know. Um, again, you do get some of the ordinary um, pirates there. I don't know how far right corner there you do see like the spider build it's like a spider and if you look closely there's a golden piece on there that golden piece is actually you know it looks like it's being used for like the mouth like pinchers or as you it may be being used for but if you look at the piece it's actually the gold or the stone um stone warrior helmet piece you know the stone warriors had their helmet pieces in black um and red and stuff when they came out in um when they came out when you know this um season two stone warrior um final battle sets came out but now in this set in this set here we're going to be getting it in a golden version and i do know there's some star wars thing out there i don't remember what for some christmas i, I think it might be like an advent calendar i don't know if it was last year i don't pay attention to that stuff much but i know there was like a brown version of that um piece as well they use it as like a reindeer um, antlers so but that is like i think it was originally first used as the stone uh, the stone warrior helmet piece you know it's at the top of the helmet i know i just spent a lot of time talking about that but you know it's cool to see that piece again so if you want to use that piece for um the stone warriors or a custom or your own type of figure um here we have zane so it's nice clear pictures of zane now um you know we didn't really have any nice good pictures of zane for next season until now um but you know zane looks very cool he's got the blue bluish you know white outfit there with the blue symbol and it's obviously his symbol turned to the side so it's very cool he's got his vehicle there he got some shurikens on his vehicle but um yeah and then th i feel like this set with zane and these two characters here is this very very cool i don't know why i'm i'm just really excited about these two characters here um the one on the left just looks really really cool the face is really um, very different very odd very very different compared to like some of the normal pirates um very unique um and then obviously the one on the right and the new snake is obviously very unique as well um you get a pirate slash snake so I'm very curious to see what that's going to be all about. It's the same mold as the Anacondri, but at this time it's in light green, like Venomari. So that's what is um, the big theory there is maybe it's a Venomari. Um, but you know, we already, we've already seen all the ranks of the Venomari, so who knows what exactly that is. Um, in this set, you know, there's nothing much different. If you want to get Kai's figure again, you know, if you want to get probably a cheaper set here, um, you can get Kai's new figure here as well. Um, you would get a pirate as well with a like a glider and then in this site you are able to get um, Nia's previous outfit as the water ninja um, from the summer sets that were released a few months ago and it looks like it's gonna be a cheaper cheaper way to get it since it was in the final flight of destiny's bounty set which was a $120 set so this looks like it's going to be a cheaper way to get Nia's outfit if you really wanted it. So, um, again, Nia does have another outfit in other sets. But, um, yeah. So, there is that. Now, we do have Cole and a pirate here. And, you know, in this set, you know, it's a normal Cole. So, you do get normal Cole here. Um, in the other set, you do get a ghost Cole. But in this one, you get normal ones. So if you want to collect a normal coal, or, you know, if you got the coal figure from the other one, you could just put his normal head on from other previous ones. Um, but, you know, if you want to get normal coal, you can get him from this. And, again, this is leading me to the theory that maybe coal will be able to swap forms. Because we do get, you know, a normal coal version and a ghost coal version. So what does that all mean? You know, who knows? Um, and then we do get the Zane Gin Blade there. Zane is trapped in the Gin Blade. And, you know, I don't know much about that yet. But um, here we have the Jay's Elemental Dragon. Um, and, yeah, so we get the one, I don't remember the name of the one pirate, but it's a female pirate character there. Um, again, wearing, like, the orange, brownish colors there as the, the Sky Pirates are. Um, and then we do get the normal version of Jay here. Um, with that art, we still got the golden, it got gold armor on the new 
the new gold armor and he's got his mask this time and i don't think he has his um eye patch in this set so it's like a total normal normal version of jay here so um yeah it's a very normal version of jay to get there um and of course it's in a it's a very it's an anticipated set as well it's his elemental dragon so i'm sure a lot of people will be getting that one and again, this set, I don't know if a lot of people will be getting it because, you know, it, it honestly, to me, it doesn't look too exciting. I mean, it just kind of looks like an ordinary sort of flying ship. I mean, if you like the flying ship sort of things, I mean, this is like probably the perfect set for you. Um, it's just got like an ordinary pilot sort of pirate. And then he's got Lloyd. Now, if you want to get Lloyd with his mask this year, um, you may want to get the set because the other set only has his hair, it looks like. So if you want to get Lloyd with his mask, you may want to try getting this set. Um, but this set does include Lloyd with his mask. Um, Deep Stone mask, you know, we're still calling it that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, very interesting characters and all that stuff, but... Um, what exactly do you guys think about all these? I mean, very, very odd and unique, um, minifigures, and very cool variety and, um, amount of different characters that are coming. So, I mean, all together, I mean, great amount of characters, you know, and of course, you know, there's like a few poly bags we saw before, probably even easier way to get some of the characters, you know, like the new Kai figure and you know an ordinary pirate um but you know i don't know if there'll be other ways of this stuff um it doesn't look like there's any urgency flyer stuff anymore so um looks like that was a one-time thing um you know it's kind of disappointing you know I don't, i'd still love to see the return of spinners but i don't think that will be happening ever again it's kind of it's kind of sad there but um, spinners are pretty cool but you know that was a while back now that they stopped making those but, I mean, all together, these characters, they look very, very cool. And the new Nia figure as well. I mean, you know, I kind of thought it was Kai. It look, kind of looked like Kai is at first. Um, but then when I started to see stuff closer and descriptions of the set, apparently that is Nia, a darker red and the blue on the outfit there. Um, and then that's so with that one set, it also has um, Ghost Cole. And Sensei Wu with a, you know, pilot helmet on there or something like that. He's piloting the um, hot air balloon. And he's got his, um, you know, original um, hat as well. Uh, I don't know if I covered that one. But, yeah, you do get Coast Cole in this one set as well. And then Nia. So there's two versions of Nia coming out again um, in this wave. So, but it's technically one new version. Um... But yeah, I mean, the minifigures, they look great. I mean, they really, really do. Tons of different types of things this time. You know, you get Ghost Cole. You get another version of Nia, finally. You get Jay with an eye patch. You get a new snake. You get Nauticon. He's like a pirate, genie, ghost-looking guy. And you get this huge, like, creature-looking character. You know, looks like a Hulk figure, almost, you know. Um, it's very, very unique different types of characters and figures that are coming and I just cannot wait I mean these look great and I'm just I'm just very very excited to collect this new wave um I don't know how the season's gonna be yet you know who knows how the season will be um sometimes seasons may be better or or you know some are better than others you know who knows it's all depending on your opinion but you know always the sets the sets always look cool, but you know, who knows what the season and all that stuff will be about, but right now, the sets and stuff do look pretty cool, as, as, as well as the figures. The figures look great, so, but you know, we'll get to see these characters actually in action again, um, the ninja, of course, and the new characters next season, so, um, yeah, I know I just covered basically figures, but... I mean, what what do you guys think? I mean, these characters, they look great. I know I've already said this, but um, what do you guys think about these new characters, these new figures? And um, what do you all plan to collect?